Hi my friends, this is the twisted bracket which was presented by me in my tutorial number 158. It was not so smooth like in this drawing which was the base of this uh, tutorial and now we want to create another solution for this uh, model with the smooth curves here that uh, first creation was this this is not smooth yes even if i made there a movie with creating this which was interesting now we want to create this smooth uh, model and also the drawing this drawing good let's start standard millimeters sketch this plane line arc keeping the left button of the mouse pressed this is the way i use to create this coincident center with the origin dimensions 10 radius 10 distance 10 a circle 10 finish sketch extrude this symmetrical on 4 millimeters thickness another plane this one to create the other end of this part similar with the other one line keep pressed the left button and continue with the tangent uh, some of you my friends ask me how did i create this and i told them that they have to look at my tutorial 007 the minute 350 Take a look there to be sure. F7 to see uh, the origin here. Why? Because we place here also 10. What is this? 10. Oh, it is placed. You see, uh, the radius of 4 was here, and the radius of 10 is here. The center of homotherapy is this point. This is why something which is 4 become 10 by creating an imaginary line between these two points. This is homotherapy. 10 circle 10 diameter distance between the centers is 45 as in the drawing 45 look here 45 yes 10 10 10 10 10 10 and 4 this are all dimensions finish sketch extrude this profile symmetrical on four millimeters f6 this is the start of the part now we apply loft between this face and this face yes 
but not with automatically mapping transition. This is very new for you, but manual mapping. As you see, there are sets of lines which control the uh, creation of this loft. The one enabled now is set one, which is red. The others are uh, green, yes? So, if you look to this line and click on this point, the line will be here. If you click here, the other end of the line will be here. Let's make this. You see? This line is from here to here. Now the set to this line must be here. Set 3, this line must be here. I don't move the line. I click on this point. And the last set 4 must come here. There is an X here because this is the uh, natural connection between these two. Now I impose how to be, how smooth to be these lines connected to these two faces. These lines are edges, of course. I want to be smooth with the weight, the power, the force of the line to be 0 0.5, mid from 0 to 1. And here, 0 0.5. Okay, and you have the part. Yes, the material is still galvanized, F6, and uh, I want to show you what happens if you select not 0 0.5, but 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, tenths of millimeters uh, from 0 to 1. I'll open the stuff, I may I name them, from 0 to 1 in tenths, tenths of millimeters. Open all. We wait a little and Wait, wait. And we have all of them here, you see? The first one is this one. Straight lines. The next is uh, smoother than the first. The other also, also smoother. This is our choose, choice. You take a look at uh, what happens here, yes. And the last is this one. Good. This is our part. We save it under the name twisted bracket after after this tutorial save and now let's create the drawing new uh, ISO ID W we erase uh, these two objects we also edit the sheet to be 8.4, also landscape, OK. And now base, the scale 2 to 1, the view 
from up we place this view lower and now we create a section of this view hover the cursor over the center to have it in our attention and then this line of section and the other projection or view is this one we don't want to show the entire line we don't want to show the scale okay we want to respect uh, the drawing rules by creating a thin line between these two points create home and this is the first moment of our construction let's apply center axis with uh, this uh, shape and then center line bisector between this line and this line and also between this two home and now dimensions the first is uh, uh, this one radius 10 but we don't want to see trailing zeros so we have to go to manage and activate the styles the style and standard editor but I placed it here you see if you want to know more about this uh, you have to take a look at my tutorials number uh, 27 and the next ones now if I try to add to quick access toolbar I cannot because it is on the quick access toolbar I activate it and I go to dimension default trailing zeros for uh, length trailing zero zeros disabled for angular dimension display 1.5 tab 1.5 options I don't want to have this kind I want to uh, start the line from here where is this this is here no here yes I activate this and if I save the trailing zeros are eliminated but not uh, the continuation of line to do this I erase this and again apply dimension to be so the text is uh, too small how can we change this again style and standard editor and we go to units not to text and modify edit text style for note text and we select here five millimeters look here I apply save and close and this is bigger good now we go on with the diameter of 10 uh, we have to uh, see the tangent lines double click on the view display options enable tangent 
edges and we have lines for uh, dimensioning double click here also display options enable tangent edges okay and now i can place dimension between this line and the circle of 10 between this circle and line of 10 between this line and this center 45 and the thickness of 4 the last are dimensions here radius and diameter that's all my friends this is the drawing we save it under the same name but another extension yes extension id w save that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye